I know. And and that work for the Obama Foundation was absolute highlight of my career. And meeting him was a little added special bonus right at the end of the training. Oh, my goodness. So, wait, just t- like, okay, let's start there. Share let's the start story. There because- <laughs> share the <laughs> story of how you, of like meeting Barack Obama. Yeah. So, I got an email from the Obama Foundation asking me would I be uh, interested in having a meeting to talk about running training as part of their leadership program. And when you get an email from that, you sort of go, someone is trying to to pull my leg. Yeah, right, right. You're like, is this real? Is this real? And so I responded straight away. We set up a meeting. Anyway, I went, uh, the Obama Foundation run a program they run them around the world. This one was for the Asia Pacific region. They had 200 young leaders from around the world coming to Malaysia for a five-day event. Um, Michelle Obama was there as well. And Barack Obama was the first time they'd sort of come to a conference. I ran the training throughout the week um, on storytelling. Barack Obama was there the last day to run it, to do a keynote. And we were told there is no way known we will meet him. And in fact, we thought he'd already left um, the building and all the 200 participants went inside to, for an official photograph. And we were, I, me as one of the speakers and a few other speakers were sitting just outside waiting for them to come out. And then he walks past with his entourage of security guards and goes in for the official photo. And, you know, we're sort of going, oh, oh my God, oh my goodness. And um, anyway, all the security guards come over and remind us again that you can't approach him, that you can't take photos of him. And it was like, okay. But when he came out, he saw that we were the speakers and he broke ranks and he came over and he introduced himself and he spoke to us. And then he said, let's get a photo with the speakers. I actually had my 19 year old daughter with me at the time because she studies global politics. And um, so there's a photo of me and um, him and her and a couple of other speakers. It's so good. That's so amazing. I, I remember when he was first running for, um, for president, uh, we saw him speak at Rhode Island college. And then Margie and I actually saw Michelle Obama speak at inbound, um, in Boston back in 20, I think it was 2017. And it was like the energy in the room when she came out, we were just like, Oh my God. This is so amazing. So I can't, I can't imagine like meeting them that like face to face. It's so cool. Yeah. I, I was actually surprised how, when he left, it took me about half an hour to sort of calm down. And I'm thinking like, I wasn't madly a big mad fan or right, anything. Right. Like, I mean, I, I truly respect him as a leader, but I was like, oh my God, the, the, the effect it has on people is amazing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs>